Hey guys, Steven here again, back with another video. Uh, here we are at Lanar Homes in Menifee. Um, here we are at the Ridgeline at Quartz Ranch. And this is going to be Residence 3. The reason why I picked this one out was uh, it has the next-gen suite. I'll show you what that is in a little bit. It's kind of like a mother-in-law um, suite attached to the home. So... Here's this one, it's a, it's a one story. Uh, this is about 2,400 square feet. Let's go to the flex gen first, I'll show you. And it also has its own um, attached garage to it actually. So that's actually pretty sweet. You can rent that, rent that out with the garage and rent it out for a little bit more if that's something that you were thinking of doing. So it's a three bedroom, two bath. Just a little over 2,400 square feet. Let me just put the code in here real quick. So here's that. So here's like the little living room area. And here's like a little kitchenette. So here's the garage. So a flex gen is like a mother-in-law suite. Um, so it has its own attached garage if you wanted to, you know, so, so something if you were planning on renting out, you know, um, or if you wanted to keep it for more like for family when they come into town, uh, you can do that out. But more on the renting outside here in Menifee right now um, the rents for a one-bedroom apartment are going out around between 1800 to about 2200 so just to give you an idea if you ever wanted to rent this out to kind of supplement your uh, your mortgage you can definitely do that have about you know close to about uh, 1800 bucks uh, going you know, towards your mortgage to help you out. So obviously you can probably rent out the garage to them for a little bit more, or you can keep it for yourself. Um, the glass door's like that right now, just so you can view it easier, but obviously it would be a closed off door if you wanted to keep that garage to yourself. So sorry, I was talking, I forgot to <laughs> tell you about uh, full bath. Then you got the stackers, the washer and dryer. So it's a full on, you know, pretty set uh, one bedroom, I guess you could say little apartment that you can definitely rent out if you wanted to do that. So let's go into the main house now. So that's the door you would enter to come in. Let me just show you, let me show you the view of what it looks like out here. So when you first walk in, that's what it would look like. Very nice walkway, very open. Um, I think it's pretty nice. So towards the left, that would be where the, the next gen suite would be. This would be an actual door. So if you did rent it out, you can lock it on both sides so you guys can keep your uh, privacy. And the nice part is, is that this part is in the front of the house. So it's not really gonna bug you or anything when you're hanging out in the living room or even in your bedroom. Uh, these floors are an upgrade. Very nice though. So dining room, living room area, and a massive kitchen. So you got a massive island here. Got about six stools, so it gives you an idea of how big it, it really is. The home does come with the stainless steel appliances. Um, this countertop would be an upgrade. Uh, when you 
uh, ever make a decision to move forward with the new build, you know, they do give you the option of what colors you would want. If you didn't want to upgrade, it will be just a couple of different colors of granite. These uh, cabinets are standard in all homes, so they are very nice. Here we got about nine foot ceilings, so it does make it feel bigger in here. Also to point out, I do in all my videos is that um, the homes do not come painted. Uh, they do come primed for you ready to paint. Um, paint would be an upgrade, so you can ask them to obviously paint it. Um, it does cost a little bit more for them to do it for you. Um, if you were to do it yourself or pay someone outside of the builder. The only difference is, and here's something like I, I want to mention, and that's good to know, is if you want to do any type of upgrades, the positives of it is that it goes uh, part of the sales price, so it goes into your mortgage. So you're not necessarily coming out of pocket for those upgrades. Uh, versus if you were doing, doing them yourself, um, you would have to come out of pocket. It would come out cheaper, but you do have to come out of pocket. Um, so if it's something that you're kind of tight with cash, um, the best option would be to ask for upgrades to be put into the sales price. So it gets put into the mortgage and then your mortgage payments go up just a slight bit, not even much. Um, and you can pay it off. You can look at it that way, paying it off that way. Um, this is the master room. Here's the walk-in closet, very big. Good sized bedroom as well. But yeah, any type of upgrades, you know, um, they will tell you about in the front. Um, Lennar does come up, they, they, the way that they build their homes, um, the way it comes, it does come very nicely finished. There's other builders that, you know, are a little bit cheaper um, not as far as quality, but just as far as upgrades go. So Lennar, Lennar do build pretty nice homes. So that was the master. Here's just some extra storage to put your, your towels and stuff like that. Here's the laundry room. Here's another bedroom, good size. Nice big window. A lot of natural light, which is good. And here's the other bedroom. Good size bedroom. The other good thing about the next gen, so here's the garage. Um, for those who are watching from out of state, a lot of people have asked me, uh, have asked me about um, that Californians don't have basements, and we don't, and it's an unfortunate uh, because basements do help out quite a bit as far as storage and extra space. So having the next gen, obviously, if you don't want to rent it out, you can use that for extra space because right, you can look at it as a mini tiny basement that's at least it comes finished though so i'll show you one last time just the way it looks in this open area because it's actually quite nice good little area for hanging out with family and all of that um also backyards this is a model so it obviously comes finished But the way the home comes when you buy the home, it will just be dirt. Um, they used to uh, offer a package where you could have them uh, do the landscaping for you. But unfortunately, most builders have removed that now. You would have to do landscaping uh, on your own and, and find your own landscaper. I do have uh, contacts for landscapers as well that do a fairly good job for a good price. 
Um, so if you ever want a contact for that, I can definitely connect you with someone uh, with uh, landscaping. So once again, here we are in Menifee. Uh, we're about 15, 20 minutes north of Temecula. We are about 50 minutes to San Diego, depending on what part of San Diego. San Diego County is pretty big, but downtown's probably about an hour. And we're about an hour and, tw an hour and 20, an hour and 30 minutes to Los Angeles, uh, depending on traffic. It could sometimes be four hours. I'm just kidding, but I'm not. <laughs> um, Orange County is about 45 minutes from here. So uh, good place, good areas, good schools. Actually, let me just show you real quick. Just on this other side of this wall, this fence, uh, you can kind of see it is the elementary school. So if you've got any kids in, in elementary school age, uh, the school will literally be across the street. It's a great school, good grades. Um, the freeway is, you can see the mountains in the back, uh, right there, full of snow. That's where people like to go boarding over here, Big Bear. Um, but the freeway is about five minutes from here. You got Target, you got uh, Lowe's, you got a bunch of uh, restaurants, In and Out, Panda, Chick fil A's coming into town. That's a big thing for us right now. Um, you got Texas Roadhouse, we just got an Olive Garden. So, Menifee's growing. Menifee's a great area right now uh, to take advantage of. Um, it's, it's still growing, it's not as, as big as Temecula Marietta, but it's it's getting there, and I, I be, truly believe in the next 10 years, it's going to be just as big. So right now is the time to take an opportunity to buy a home for a good price in Menifee. If you're looking for, for something to, to be in for a while and for, obviously, the price of your home to go up over, year, over the years. So my name is Steven. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.